Hey guys, Evan Carden here with yet another informative video. Before we get started, I just want to say I am not a doctor. These videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only. And with these natty or nots, guys, I don't have proof of anything. I am just giving you my expert opinion on whether I think this person is natty or not. Um, so again, guys, I am doing this video today because someone recommended it in the comments. So be giving me, you know, recommendations, guys. Um, you know, make sure they're, you know, pretty famous, not like just an IPF power lifter that has like 30K Instagram followers. Again, I wanted to have a more of a wide broad appeal to people again they have to be pretty well known like this guy he has almost 200k followers on instagram um i think 40k on youtube he is lex little and one more thing guys before i do these videos i always watch either the greg Doucette or more plates more dates videos just so i'm caught up not to steal their ideas i just want to have all the available information so anyway guys um his name is lex little he is 19 years old he is a youtuber and Instagrammer, I guess he has more followers over there and uh, power lifter. I can definitely um, see why you wanted me to do a video on him. He is um, very aesthetic. Um, he definitely gives like early David Laid vibes, if you know what I mean. And I'm not commenting on David Laid, guys, so it'd be a separate video. But in terms of his uh, early years, his like teenage coming up years is what I'm talking about. Um, very aesthetic you know, good genetics, takes pictures in like perfect lighting though, and probably heavily edits them too. And guys, you know, you can honestly make yourself look a lot bigger than you actually are in pictures if you are a uh, good photo editor, guys. And if you are, guys, hit me up. I'm looking for a better picture for YouTube, for Instagram, and a banner for YouTube as well. Um, so if you are a professional photo editor like this guy, like Lex Little, hit me up. Um, but that being said, guys, he definitely has very big legs, but you know, some people just have good genetics for that, guys. I am obviously not one of them, although they are getting bigger, but, um, again, guys, all the androgen receptors, or most of them anyway, not all of them, are in the delts and traps. That's what's going to blow up when you, um, you know, go on something. It's really not going to be, you know, your legs and not your upper body. So judging by his physique, guys... Honestly, it really does look natural, you know, great genetics, obviously, but it is more to me of the illusion of taking, um, you know, great pictures, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so good at marketing himself, obviously. And I saw a lot of uh, comments in the Greg Doucette video, too, that they know if they do know him in real life, that he doesn't look anywhere like he does in his pictures and you can honestly sort of see that if you do watch his youtube videos when he is lifting he does not look that crazy whatsoever particularly in the upper body um sure his legs are pretty big but you know there are other mad examples of that guys you know johnny candido has pretty big legs um someone actually wanted me to do a video on him for some reason guys obviously natural I, <laughs> hopefully that goes without saying but um so anyway, in the Greg Doucette video, the first one, he didn't think he was natural, basically based on his physique and because he had big legs. Um, I don't know. I think he actually said he was strong, too, based on um, where he was when he was um, the same age. But we'll get into that later. But um, anyway, he said that if he would pass a drug-tested powerlifting meet, then he would think he was natural, guys. And I know in the past for the... Uh, Jesse Norris for the Ashton Rushka videos. I said that that doesn't mean anything, but at the same time, guys, the difference between like a world-class lifter setting IPF like world records and, you know, a guy who's primarily, you know, on Instagram, on YouTube and just enters a powerlifting meet, they're not the same thing, guys. Obviously, it doesn't mean that he couldn't have been on something, but it does make me think more likely than not that he would be natural if he just enters a powerlifting meet on a whim and he's not, you know, setting any sort of record guys. Again, he's not going to be an expert at 19 years old in like, you know, cycling on and off and stuff on and off stuff to not set any world records just because a guy on YouTube challenged him to do a meet guys. These aren't the same thing. Um, so anyway, he would do that meet. So let's get into what his lifts were. They were, um, 545 squat. Um, I think 358 bench and uh, 584 sumo deadlift. So again, the squat, 
Um, that is pretty impressive for his age, for his body weight. He was competing at around 190 something pounds. I guess the 205 K, um, 93 kg weight class for USAPL. Um, but his legs are pretty big, guys. We've gone over that before. But again, guys, as a natural, you definitely can train up your squat pretty good. And, you know, if your bench doesn't blow up, I wouldn't say that that means you are not natty. And with that bench, guys, mid three is bench. And again, he did have a big arch, whereas I've benched, you know, 400, 375 in comp. But that's like literally no arch at all. And again, you know, that's my fault, I'm saying. But that is not the same test of strength if you are doing a 358 bench with a big arch versus 400 or upper threes bench with no arch. Again, there is a lot less strength needed to uh, lift that weight. Okay, so they are not the same test of strength. Um, there are a lot of natties that have big benches. I think his coach is that hamstring mommy guy um, who obviously I think he's natural. I'm not going to do a video on him either, but he benches like 500 pounds with a huge arch. Um, and I don't think that means he's not natty either. And again, deadlift, I mean, 584 sumo. I mean, I did like 655 conventional. As an natty, obviously, I'm probably better built for the deadlift than this guy is. But still, guys, that, I mean, even if he, his sumo deadlift was 700 pounds, we're probably going to get into some other guys that are in this sort of the same category that do that. I wouldn't think that means he's not natty. So again, guys, you know, um, I'm not saying the lifts are bad for his age. You know, I think his total is 1488. Um, you know, it's respectable, but guys, just based on that, that does not strike me as, oh my God, you couldn't possibly be natty and hit those lifts. I think more likely than not that that means he is natty. Um, we will get into other reasons. Um, so basically Greg Doucette actually did a video on him because he had like begged him for several months had sent him like multiple messages to do a video on him. And now at the same time, you would be getting clout either way. So I guess I can't be in one of his videos because I talk about PEDs all day. But um, again, if you were a fake natty, you probably wouldn't like beg a guy to do a video on whether you were natty or not. It's more to like stroke your own ego. Like, oh, wow, I can't believe this guy thinks I'm not natty, even though I am. Um, and then after the video, apparently he sent him a DM saying that that video was awesome and thank you. So again, guys, if you ever watched the Tron Beckham video, um, that where he responded to Greg Doucette, he was very agitated, very annoyed that he thought he was not natty. Totally different reaction, guys. This is the reaction you would have if you were actually natural. You would think it is cool that a guy is doing a video on you. You would just be grateful for the views and stuff like that. And you just, you'd be like, thanks. That's what you would do if you were natural. Um, so again, guys, again, my main takeaway about this guy he does heavily edit his picks and use great lighting. He obviously does have good genetics. He does have big legs, but even his physique, I don't think is unattainable naturally. His lifts, while respectable, are not by any means, um, you know, otherworldly. There are lots of guys on Instagram who are not nearly as famous as this guy who do more lift, um, do lift more at the same or lower body weight. They just aren't, you know, as widely known on YouTube. And, you know, you guy deserves some credit to market himself like that. You know, if you are able to get, you know, 50K uh, YouTube subscribers at just 19 years old or 200K Instagram followers, look, I wish I was better at that. I think that if I took more pictures of myself and good lighting and edited them, I think I'd have probably had more followers. So again, hit me up, guys. Um, so anyway, guys, I do think he is natural. I don't see any re evidence to the contrary to think otherwise. That being said, guys, again, could he have done a SARM cycle for eight weeks like a year ago? Sure, guys, but again, your neighbor who doesn't lift weights could have done that too, and you wouldn't know. So the point is, I don't see any reason to believe he did that. I don't believe I don't see any reason to think he is on right now. Could he be on the future? Yeah, for sure, guys. I'm at this the time I am making this video, he is 19 years old. Um, he just totaled 1488 in a powerlifting meet, and that is what I think makes him natural again going forward maybe a different story um so yeah guys let me know what you think about whether lex little is natty or not and be sure to give me other recommendations for who to do a video on next guys thanks i am out